the seed on the long leaf is, is about two inches. It's a very large seed and it doesn't overwinter, uh, which means it has to, typically has to germinate the year it hits the ground. And it has to have uh, contact with bare mineral soil to germinate. And when your duff gets so big because fire's been excluded from the ecosystem for so long, it can't germinate. And that's why we look out, you know, across the landscape here and we don't see any young long leaf. You know, here, um, if we keep fire in here, and one burns, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. It's going to take a, a continuous cycle of burning. When this was, uh, you know, in its natural state, it would have burned low intensity, like we're seeing here. It would have burned that way every three or four years. And that would have kept the undergrowth um, manageable, it would have kept the understory low, it would have kept the, the duff layer uh, thin so that the longleaf could regenerate. Because in a, in a longleaf stand, you're going to have natural uneven age going to have a mix of all different ages throughout the stand and now we don't right now we have you know probably pushing 100 year old trees some I'm sure older than that and uh, and nothing regenerating the stand so when these trees drop out uh, it's going to become a, a oak hickory forest you know the hardwoods that have been sitting in the understory patiently um, once the the long leaf drop out of the stand they'll take that space and you'll have a, a what we call a senescent or a, a over mature oak hickory forest is what this would turn into eventually and again that's just not natural for the sandhills